already. So we are back. We have the guitar on the workbench. So we are going to be switching out this 250k pot for a double stacked. And so like I told you before, the top one is 250 and the bottom one is 500. We're going to have to create a jumper for both from the tone pot to the number one on the volume and number three on the tone pot and then we're just going to have to uh, ground it off. So let's get started off by taking off the ground, taking off the capacitor, and unsoldering this jumper here. Alrighty, so we got the jumper and the ground taken off. I ended up leaving the cap on here because I'm going to probably end up using this on a, another Telecaster or uh, I'm just going to have this as a spare. Alrighty, so what we're going to do is I have this 4.7 um, orange drop. I'm going to go ahead and try and jump it from the 250k on top to the 500k at the bottom and then I'm going to create two jumpers to go from um, the tone pot to the volume pot. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Let's see how that works out. I'll be right back. I kind of bent the cap on the top so I can solder that first and I'm, I bent the bottom so I can kind of touch the, the slug there at the bottom. Then I'm going to bend it on over and ground it to the top of the potentiometer. So this is for the center slug for the tone pot. And I already got the jumpers uh, there for the bottom one is a 500k and the top one is a 250k. I'm sure this has been done before. Um, but I got the cap on from the bottom. Went up, soldered it there in the middle slug. And then I soldered it here at the bottom slug. Or at the bottom on the center slug. And since this is a 40... 47 I would think that it would um, cut onto both of them and the resistance will be cut in half since the fender usually uses 22 and um, I think that's the same for for Gibson so what I'm gonna end up doing is just stand it down here on the pot and I'll show you what I'm gonna do right now but I'm about to mount it to the plate here and uh, I'm gonna sand it and then I'll solder it in also did get the the jumpers put in already so what I ended up doing here is scuffing up the top with this birthday gift that my dad gave me. It's like a stone with a handle up here and then you can like change out, change them out. Um, so what I ended up doing here is just scuffing up the top here and then I bent the first um, tabs here for the pot forward a little bit so I can get the, um, the cap um, down a little bit and then over on to the top of the pot. So what I'm going to end up doing is getting the ground for the uh, input, output jack, whatever you want to call it, and this uh, for the cap, and I'm going to go ahead and solder them down into place. It looks like we are successful in getting the ground grounded and the cap grounded. Uh, now I'm going to move on to the jumpers. So the white one is actually going to be going here to the bottom, which is the 500k, and then the top one is the 250k so that's where the jumpers are going to go here um, but after this we're going to connect the neck pickup back and we're going to see if all this works so wish me luck got the jumpers good um, to each of their designated areas over there and uh, so now we're just going to go ahead and put it back in and see if that made a difference for the tone of the neck pickup we're having a 500k for the tone and a 500k for the neck what a 40 I think this is a 47 orange drop um, capacitor here so I'm guessing if I use them for both it's going to divide it for two pots um, but we'll find out here shortly if not then I'll get a 22 we're in the middle position and everything's fully open neck position this doesn't work neck position does work and then lower the tone all the way lower the volume and the thing that I'm noticing here is it only works until like usable volume it probably only works to like seven so that's something I don't like if you're using these I'm not sure if it's going to be a on um, well yeah that's one thing I don't like but um, 
like in the burst position you can barely even hear that so you go to eight and it's, it's okay it's there but I think only usable volume is from 10 10 to about 8 so if you're getting into this thinking you're gonna have very useful volume um, you're not <laughs> so just know that but the, the tone pod does work and I'm pretty sure if I put a t tone cap on here we can see what it does but um, yeah just know getting into this it only works from 8 to 10 and I'm guessing I'm gonna have it like around nine and a half or so so let's get a sound demo of uh, what this sounds like and we'll go and um, finish off the video <laughs> Alright, so with the 500, uh, 500k volume and 500k tone, I do notice a difference with the two 500k volume and tone for the neck position. It does, it's, a, it's brighter, um, so that's what a 500k pot will do. It is brighter. The bridge almost sounds a little different to me. It might be because of the cap, and I'm not sure if the cap is dividing by both potentiometers are running at full and it's taking out 40.47 out of both of them I do need to do some height adjustment here with the neck pick and that's something that I will do um, here in the future so maybe I'll do an update on more adjustments and uh, seeing if that'll work but as of right now I think this will work the way that it's it's uh, it is I just have to do some more adjustment to the neck pickup but yeah uh, I hope the wiring helps y'all um, it did take me a, a while to just get the volume pot because I was trying to follow a YouTube video that a technician was doing it and I just ended up wiring it normal. <laughs> so that's what ended up helping. So um, I hope this helps if anyone wants to do this. This is custom shop like sort of wiring. Somebody in Houston has a 51 custom shop and they have a Ceph lover in the neck position and a custom bridge from Fender. They don't have these knobs 
but they do have um, the solid shaft. So the only solid shaft that I could find were the ones that have dual for for 500 and 200, and then you adjust them that way. I didn't find any with just solid shaft. So I thought this looked pretty cool with just when I had the volume one on there. And now this is the way it looks now. So um, yeah, maybe I can put some black ones and it'll match better, but. I think it gives a good contrast with the pick guard and the binding and then as soon as I get the rest of the wrapping done I think it's going to look even better so um, yeah I also did the, the headstock I'm pretty sure I showed you on a previous video but I did do that so um, God bless peace and have a blessed day remember to be kind to one another and care for one another take care peace.